Welcome guys! Hi! Kimmy Rust Adventures, we're back with another episode, aren't we? We are, it's been Series a while. 2? Episode 2, isn't it? Yeah. Hey, and we've got a competition coming up in this one, haven't we? We have. Stay tuned. Now, we had a competition in the last episode. Oh, well, no, we announced the winner in the last episode, didn't we, of the competition. And we were lucky enough to get that bloke in here that won those prizes. So here we go. This is us presenting those mugs to him. Okay, guys. So as Kim and I were just saying, we had the winner in Bar Talks competition, which was these two mugs, remember? The travel mugs. And the winner is Alex Scott Rubens. Congratulations, yeah, mate. Lovely stuff. There One, you go. Two. Oh. two cups for you, mate. One. Two. Have you got any travel mugs? No, this is the first two mugs that I'll ever have. Right. right. Okay. So I've always needed them, wanted them. Well, haven't had them yet. Well, they, they it just sort of happened to fall in at the time that Russ was throwing a competition, and I needed mugs, and I won it. And it wasn't set up, by the way, guys. <laughs> you guys seen that wheel? <laughs> Absolutely not. I know Shannon's a bit upset about it, but there's not a great deal you can do about that. You got to be in it to win it, don't you, Russ? Well, Shannon was upset, Alex, because she never actually shared the post. So she didn't go into the drawing of it, did she? Like I said, Russ, you've got to be in it to win it. You've got to be in it to win it. Very Isn't simple. that right, Shannon? <laughs> <laughs> Shannon is another subscriber. Or actually, she's not a subscriber, is she? No, no. She's on Facebook, a Facebook yeah. friend. she probably have to get in on making a YouTube account and get amongst it, I dare yeah, say. Yes, so I think so. Well, anyway, mate, I hope you enjoy those mugs. Right. Very limited edition, them ones. I'll take the utmost dearest care of them, Russ. Cool. So why do you watch the channel? Uh, Russ, to be honest with you, mate, through work, listening to you dribble the amount of shit you do. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way the channel couldn't have been good. Kim, Kim Amongst as well, always doing a bit of adventuring about anything amongst Australia that you do. It's always good to watch. Ah, uh, that's marvellous, mate. That's marvellous. Anything across, I like adventuring here and so myself. So seeing what you've done gives me a good idea of what I could probably go, go and do in the future. Marvellous. Have you got a licence? Do you ride motorbikes at all? Not motorbikes, unfortunately. I'm, uh, I'm just licensed for a car, but... Always, get... I can always sit you on the back of my bike one day and take you for a spin. Maybe one day we will. Chuck Maybe on one day. Have you been on a bike before? Oh, <laughs> uh, not as a passenger. I've ridden, right. rid, ridden uh, just normal dirt bikes. Dirt bikes, yep. Quad yep. bikes, yep. stuff like that. Ah, uh, well, maybe one day. <laughs> well, anyway, mate, thank you Beautiful. for coming. No, thank and you for... Even more so, thank you for sharing the post. Oh. As you said, we want to get it out there to as many people as what we possibly can. Yeah. So it's sort of a way of doing it. But look, look. At the rest of this edition of Bar Talk, because there is a brand new competition coming up in this one. This is the first time I've heard about it, Russ. So. This is the first time, mate. <laughs> so, if you want to be in it to win it, what do you got to do? I'm going to say like, subscribe, and, and share. share. That's right. That about do it. Yep. Anyway, thanks for turning up, Alex. More than welcome. Lucky the winner was close by, living in this area, so he um, turned up for us. So. We'll cross back to the bar now, and we'll keep going with the rest of the show. Bye, guys. See you, fellas. Well, wasn't Alex a good sport for coming along? Yeah, he was. Long, tall streak of misery he is. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, apparently, he's been using those mugs every day, he said, because he was about to go out and actually buy a thermal mug for his, um, for his car, yeah. for travelling to work each morning. But anyway, he is very excited about the new competition as well. Mm -hmm. So more of that later. Anyway, autumn's here, isn't it, babe? Awesome. Autumn in Australia. Well, temperatures are starting to cool down a bit, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Especially here in Tassie. So what's that mean for bike riding? Well, we've got to slow down the riding. Well, we won't slow down the riding, unless it's pissing down with rain. That's right. But we're going to get into our winter gear, aren't we? Our winter clothing. Yep. So anyway, we decided we'd show you what we wear during winter on the road. A winter in Tasmania, by the way, which, Tasmania, Australia, which the temperatures, like in the middle of the winter, are getting down to, during the day, probably four, five, six and seven degrees, but we do go riding every day. So anyway, have a, have a squeezy of this. Have a look at our clothing. Okay, so this is us. This is the winter clothing for Kimmy Russ Adventures, because autumn has sprung, hasn't it, babe? Yes. Yes, and it's going to start getting cold. So, we didn't want to go any further and show you our underwear, <laughs> did we, babe? Uh -huh. G-bangers don't look too good on the bloody camera, do they? 
No. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so this is basics for the pair of us at the moment. Now you'll see what the rest of the clothing is. Here we go. First layer. If you take notice, Kim's got these on. Oh, Rusty, he's still like this. <laughs> Next layer. Kim's got a top on now. Oh, Rusty, huh? he's just got a thermal top on. We'll go to the next layer. <laughs> yes, because there's more in yes. there. <laughs> the next layer, we've got jeans. Yeah. As you can see, Kim has got cords hanging from her. Electrical cords. Have I? No, I haven't. Have I, babe? No. Nope. Right, next layer. Next one, boots. Oh, Rusty's boots here. Waterproof boots. Kim's. See this? Wait a minute. Electrical cord hanging off this too. That goes in the boot. Just like that. Right. We'll show you the next bit. Okay. We're getting there. <laughs> As you see, boots on. Now the thing about Kim's boots are, turn around my dear, these all plug in. Ah. So the boot, the, the actual boot liners plug in to the trousers she's got underneath. I won't tuck them in. And then, wait for it guys, we've got more. <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute. Right. So she's got cords hanging here. Wait a minute, I forgot something. She has a Y splitter. Two into one. That goes from her jacket, cord from her jacket, whoops, and a cord from her leggings, all go into one. That gets tucked away nicely, I'll just leave it hanging out at the moment, what do you reckon? Mm -hmm. And we'll come back to the next bit. Jackets, we have jackets, a oh, rusty, normal gear at the moment, isn't it babe? Kim's got controls here, Kim's got controls here. But we're not finished yet, guys. We'll show you the rest. Okay, we've got our gloves on. As you can see, Kim's got some nice thick gloves on. Me, I prefer the fingerless gloves during winter, even when it is six, seven and eight degrees. Last year, I think I only put my long gloves on once. Kim, well, yes, well. Anyway, these gloves, come over here, babe. These gloves, one cord, plugs into there so that you can tuck that wire away so you plug all that in and that actually plugs in to her top which is this one now I'll just see if it lines up that there you can turn it on and off three heat settings for the top and the gloves You've got another heat setting here. Turn it on here. That's for the trousers, which go into the inner soles. Yep. So all up, she's real bloody toasty, aren't you, babe? Yeah. <laughs> Still whinges at me though, but she's real toasty. I remember the first time she got the inners, she come home that night, she couldn't walk. <laughs> she had blisters on her feet. She turned them up full pelt. Mm -hmm. I said, well, why didn't you turn them down? And what'd you say? So I didn't know how? No. I don't know. Because it was really... nice and warm and you didn't want to. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, this is our winter gear. Now, when she's out, when she's out on the bike, all she has to do is plug that one cord in to attachment that comes off on her bike underneath the seat to the battery. She's plugged in, she's ready to go, aren't you, babe? Yep. I'll tell you what, it's bloody hot in here and you haven't even got your electricals on. I know. <laughs> the poor old Rusty. All he's got is his thermal underwear and a thermal top, that's all. Kim's got everything, man. Who is spoilt? I don't think it's spoiled. I think you got sick of me whinging. Same thing. <laughs> I'm cold. <Yeah. laughs> She's not whinging, I'm happy. Anyway, guys, we'll catch you back at the bar. Right, so that's the winter clothing. See all the shit she's got for winter? Poor old Rusty, he's got nothing, has he? Nothing. Nothing. And all Kim's all plugs in together and just plugs into a bike. So she's toasty as toasty. 
can go for hours on end as long as she doesn't burn herself too much with it in a bay <laughs> <laughs> although she does whinge a little bit when we get off the bikes because she can't take the bike with her to plug it in can no. you <laughs> <laughs> but it's a pretty good setup me well i just like the fingerless gloves maybe i'll put them on if it starts raining i'll put me long gloves on mm -hmm. but apart from that i'll just ride like that you've got to be tough on a bike <laughs> i'm on a suzuki babe not a harley <laughs> not like you wusses <laughs> we just like to be comfortable when we ride speaking of comfortable mm -hmm. by jeepers we had a comfortable ride here the yeah. other week didn't we babe yeah. we went across we looked at new bikes, didn't we? We did. Do we call them bikes? We looked at them. I don't know whether you call them bikes. What do you call them? Triceratops. <laughs> <laughs> no, so. no. I'll call them go-karts on steroids. Yeah. That's Have a look at this, guys. It was a lot of fun. Can we rush adventures? We're out on another little cruise today, aren't we, babe? But yeah, I'm back here. Yeah, there's something very special happening today, though, isn't there, eh? It's a big day. Because we're in Cooey at the moment, Tasmania, of course. And we're calling into this motorbike shop, aren't we, babe? Yeah, it's exciting. Uh -huh. And what are we going to do? Well, they'll have to wait and see. They'll have to wait and see. It's this a motorbike shop right here. But that motorcycle scene there, we're going over there and we're taking a bike for a spin, aren't we, sweetie? One each. Well, we think so. Providing, <laughs> providing someone can reach the pedals. That covers her, we can get off on the other one too. Yeah, yeah, so cool. I'll have the little one. What? I'll have the little one. Wow. I wonder if I do my bike. It's gonna be a problem. Oh no, you're right. Yeah. Yeah, push it down. Yep. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Yep. Oh, that's a perfect fit. Yep. All right. Do now pushing gear. This one. Yeah. Down. Yep. There you go. You're okay. in first. You ready? Yes. Let me go first. You coming? I am. Got it. Like this. My God, it's like dodging cars. Fuck it out. Okay, so Kemi Russ Adventures, I've just picked up their new spiders. <laughs> Haven't we, babe? I'm on one too, back here. Yes, you're on one. Are you behind me? <laughs> I am. It just feels really weird cornering. I'm not used to it. I so. hope it does. I'll it's tell you what, like this seat's comfortable. Yeah, this is a really comfortable position. I feel like I'm wobbling all over the place. Yeah, because you're oversteering too much. I'm, I'm doing the same. Yeah, right. Yeah. I'm surprised this bike actually fits me and it's very comfortable with the seat and everything. The bike we don't have to modify for you. Yeah. And there's little Kimmy. <laughs> there's Kim on her spider. See what I mean about the cornering? It's yeah. Like... <laughs> oh, you, you want to slow down on the corners, do you, babe? I feel weird. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, Kimmy's zooming through, look at that. So there's Kim from the rear end. It's a wide rear end. <laughs> <laughs> only on the bike, babe, only on the bike. <laughs> Come across in front of me. I'll follow you for a while. This is the bike Rusty come down on. What is it, babe? It's a spider. It's a limited one, BRP. It is a spider, isn't it? Look at it. Can Am Spider. That's it there. It's a spider F3 Limited. And this is the one Kim has ridden. Nice looking bike. This is a naked bike. It's like me woman naked. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, that's a nice little looking bike too, isn't it? For a spider, that is. And what's this one called, babe? That it's one? written there. Spider F three S S three S. S. Must be the must be the sport one. F for Freddy. F for Freddy. Okay. Freddy. Our brand new spiders. That's for when we get old and we can't um, stand our own bikes up. 
Is that not right, babe? That's, for, that's for when we get old and we yeah. can't stand our bikes up. We'll buy a couple of these. Yep. I do like Kim's one a little bit better than mine. Mine's the one on the right. The one on the left's a nice matte black. It is. Looks nice. Let's go. <laughs> you see that? You see that, babe? Yeah, you did a wheelie. Yeah. Whoa, lean into it, coming around here and turn. Woohoo! You're on the little zippy one. Is that right? Gotta reverse it. She should roll back. She should roll back. Put in neutral. Yep. <laughs> Just come on. Alright. Low fuel it says. Just put it back in first and put the park brake on. Yep. Bob's your uncle. Park brake is on. Well, wasn't that fun? Mm, that was Boy, jeepers, we had a ball of a time, didn't we, babe? Yeah. <laughs> two spiders, two Can Am spiders, 2018. What was it, babe? I oh, I don't know. I told you on the bloody video what we'll it was. Put it on the screen. Yeah, we'll put it on the screen. Well, it was already on the screen. We talked about it. Yeah. Yes. Oh, that was the promo. Yeah. So anyway, we took them for a spin up to Elizabethtown and back from Cooey, Tasmania to Elizabethtown, Tasmania, which is roughly nearly probably 95 k's, 90 k's each way. <laughs> so we done a couple of hundred k's on them, and I tell you, wasn't that different? It was very different. The cornering. Oh. Yeah, the yeah. corning, but comfortable as comfortable, mm. weren't they? Yep. By the way, guys, it was only a demo ride, wasn't it? It was a demo. We are not getting rid of our no. two wheels. Although, down the track, maybe, when we get older, not that we're old now, are we? No. No, when we get older and we can maybe not lift up the weight of our bikes, mm -hmm. because of age, these things happen, don't laugh at me. <laughs> Um, it might be a good idea to go for a spider or yeah. even a trike, mm -hmm. yeah. wouldn't it, eh? Yeah. You still get the same feeling. You do. Mm. You do get the same feeling, wouldn't it? Yeah. Very funny in this. I don't know if everyone's ridden a spider or not, or if anyone has, but the actual steering on it, when we first hopped on the bike, mm. we were tending to oversteer a little bit. It's fairly direct. It is, yeah. you just got to be gentle on it. But I'll tell you what, they were comfortable. Plenty of power. Plenty mm -hmm. of power, wouldn't it, eh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they were good. Yeah, got along the road well. Mm. Cars can see you a lot better with a bigger bike like that too. Mm. But I, anyway. I just don't know why they didn't have electronic mirrors though. I think they have on the bigger one, on the RT Spiders, oh. on the really big touring ones. They've got the electric wind sh uh, windscreens and everything. Yeah, but not everyone's going to want to buy mm. a really big one. Yeah, no, that's mm. right. The actual one I first rode on that day, there was a hell of a lot of wind noise. I, I had a windscreen on the front of it. There was a hell of a lot of wind noise flying past my helmet. I actually thought in the recording that you might not have heard me talking or Kim talking, but it was pretty good. The GoPro 7 done a really good job of muting out that wind noise. But there was a lot of wind noise coming up from the fairings of that bike. Um, but when I hopped on Kim's bike from Elizabethtown and rode home, um, that bloody thing, it was almost taking the helmet off the top of my head. It, it didn't, didn't have a wind It screen. didn't have a windscreen. So the windscreen on the bigger one was putting it up over the top of my helmet, but I could really hear it rushing past me there. Mm. Um, on Kim's, because I've got a peak on the top of my helmet, it was sort of lifting the helmet up. I actually tightened the helmet up, but um, by the time I got back from Elizabeth, Elizabeth Town to Cooey, which is 90, 95 k's, um, I had a bit of a sore neck from holding it because it was forcing it back. Mm. But... It could be a possibility when we get old, mm. and that's what we wanted to see. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed that little video. We had great fun that day, that didn't was, we, babe? Yeah, <laughs> we had lunch up there too. Now, toolbox segment. Here we go. As you know, we got those two new helmets. If you watched the last bar talk, we showed you the helmets, didn't mm -hmm. we? And we ran through the characteristics of, it, of them all. So it was time to sticker the helmets up, wasn't it? And we stickered Kim's Harley up, didn't we? Yep. She named it. Now, this name we've been floating around with for a while. When she first brought the bike uh, 15 months ago on the Gold Coast, I named it then. But anyway, have a look at this. Mm -hmm. Okay then, guys, we're into it. We are going to sticker up the helmets with Kimmy Russ Adventures. They are the stickers 
You probably can't see that, can you? No, nah, can't see, can you? But anyway, we're going to put them on each of our new helmets, which you've seen in the previous bar talk. Rusty's. Kimmy's. So, they go along the side of the helmets. They were previously on our own helmet, on our old helmets, I should say. So let's get into it. I'll bring you down to the helmets and show you the install. Right, the first thing we've got to do, the sticker's going to be going here. Right there. And I think I'm going... I'll just grab my glasses, I can't see a thing. I think I'm going to follow that line right there. Vertically follow it. And... Put it on there. So, first thing first, we better clean it and get some grease off so the sticker will stick. And all I'm cleaning this with is nail polish remover. <laughs> so we'll just let that dry. So that side's clean, no dust. Let's put the lid back on that. And we'll put the sticker on, hey? We have got an applicator there to help with it. And we'll peel that off. And we'll see how we go, hey? Right, I've got the sticker peeled off. There it is there. So all we've got to do is line it up. So we'll go there and we'll go there. Push it down and we'll see how we go. Make sure you put it on properly. These are hard to peel off sometimes. The numbers tend to want to come with it. But I've got a little knife here. Normally I'll put the knife under them and it comes up, um, they stay down okay. So we'll start peeling it off. Not coming off too bad at the moment. Hopefully you can see that. And there we go. Kimmy Russ Adventures. So, just make sure it's down properly. Make sure all those letters are down. So that's one side of my helmet there done. I've got to do the other side yet. Yeah? And that's it. Right there. Kimmy Russ Adventures at YouTube.com. Okay. So, there's the other side done. So that's one side, two sides of my helmet done. And it doesn't look too bad. It looks like it all lines up. So, we'll switch across to young Kimmy's helmet now. Now, remember, I'm going to put Kim's down through here. So we'll give it a clean up and see how we go. Do a good clean with the acetone and the fingernail polish remover. And we'll see how we go. I'll put a bit of tape on Kim's just for a marker for me. Got to go through there somehow like that. Anyway. We'll peel it off and we'll have a go. Right, so we've got the sticker off. All we're going to do is line it up. There, we'll just about do her about there. And push it down. And we'll peel her off, see what we got. And that there has peeled off beautifully. Let's take that tape off. For a minute we'll put that there and just make sure it's down properly so that's it there guys look at that and we'll do the other side i'll cut back to you in a minute when i've got it done okay so that's the other side of kim's on let's have a look at that that's not too bad so that's one side of kim's the other side and that's them both there which they don't line up too bad so that is the sticker install. I'll just bring these back up to me. 
Oh, Rusty here. We have got one more sticker to put on, a special sticker that Kim wanted, and it is a sticker for her bike. I don't know if you can see that. It's the Red Devil. That's what she's named her bike. So we're going to go outside and we're going to put that on her bike now. Catch us out there. Okay, I'm just going to give Kim's bike a bit of a wipe over where the, um, where the actual um, sticker's going to go on. It's an alcohol wipe thing. Look at that. She'll think I'm cleaning her bike for her, but I'm not, you know. <laughs> it's a bloody Harley. Come on. Okay, so we'll put the sticker on there. We'll see how we go. So the sticker is going to be going here like this, isn't it? The Red Devil. So we'll have a go at that, eh? Okay, all we've got to do is line this up now. And you know what? I think I've got it in the first hit. Look at that. Right, we'll see if we can pull that off and see what we're left with. The Red Devil has been christened. And that is, I'll give you a look guys, the Red Devil. Look at that. Stands out fairly well on there, doesn't it? Look, the Red Devil. So, okay guys, come back to me, you fell. So, that's our sticker install of the helmets and Kim's naming of her bike. So we'll catch you back in the bar, guys. Okay, do you reckon the stickers look good or what? There's my helmet, stick it up. Ah, and Kim's right there. Kimmy Russ Adventures at youtube.com. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget. Get all our updates. Now, we had those stickers on our other helmets and we've only just got around to putting them on there. Mm -hmm. And the name on your bike, what is it? The Red Devil. The Red Devil. <laughs> It is a devil of a bike, that one, isn't it, eh? <laughs> but that's what we named, or Kim named the bike, or we named the bike, the Red Devil, and Kim wanted a sticker to go across the back of it, didn't you? Yep. Anyway, we're going to go into Sniff It, Taste It, Rate It. Sniff It, Taste It, Rate It. Okay, we're over at the testing table, aren't we, babe? Yeah. <laughs> Time of the night we like, isn't it? It's a bit. Although we have got a twoies here. Twoies, don't forget if you want to come on board. Twoies cider, five seeds. Twoies? Yes. But anyway, we've got, for sniffer taste at rate of tonight, we've got an apple cider here. I'll just show you. There we go. Bruni, Bruni Island Cider. Tasmanian in the babe. Mm -hmm. So we'll just have a little gander, see what they say about this. Original Apple Isle Cider, crafted in Tasmania, babe. Our cider is a sparkling modern classic. Classic. Well, we'll decide that in a minute, won't we? We will. Mm -hmm. Pure contemporary apple cider lends complex barrel fermented cider, a dash of fruit, fruit driven excitement. <laughs> I love a bit of excitement. That's why we ride in the boat. <laughs> Fresh Tasmanian twist. Grown on Bruni Island, pressed and fermented in Tasmania. Alcohol content, which is very important in the boat. <laughs> very. 6.5%. Yes. <laughs> anyway, we'll open her up and we'll have a look. It's just lost the point and the boat. It's not twist top. I'll be back in a sec. Right, she's off now. Ooh. Sniff it. Oh, wait a minute, you can sniff it in your glass. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we're using our Kimmy Russ Adventure glasses here, aren't we? Birthday present. I tell you what, I've got a good feeling, I've got a good feeling about this one. The feeling's that good, I'm putting a little bit more in mine. Oh, it smells nice. Yeah, it does smell nice, nice doesn't it? Okay, so that's the Bruni Island mm -hmm. cider. We'll have a bit of a sniff. 
Pretty Tell you what, yeah, very fruity. It doesn't smell too bad. I'll show you. Look at that. Nice and sparkling. <laughs> Just like me. But there you go, look at that. <laughs> nice amber colour in the bone. Like you, Ryan. Okay. I wouldn't have went there. <laughs> I tell you what though, when my urine ain't when my urine's golden, I, I know I haven't had enough grog. I've got to water it down a bit, babe. Yeah. <laughs> it tastes a lot like one we've had before. Yeah, it tastes it tastes a bit dry. Mm. It's not a real sweet one, is it? So sweet? No, it doesn't say sweet. Mmm. Okay. Yeah, this is not too bad. I don't think I'd be, um, I don't think I'd buy a carton of it. What do you reckon? Hey? No, I don't think I'd be rushing out to buy it. Nah, nah, but we've had worse. So what are you going to give it, babe? Um, out of 10. I reckon, um... It's got a bit of a... Is it dry? I don't is, know. is that what I'm thinking of? I think it could give you quite a big kick if you had too many of them, though. Well, 6.5%, babe. Mm. So I um, get a pretty big kick when she gets pissed. <laughs> <laughs> kick up ass! <laughs> you deserve it. <laughs> yeah, probably. Um, out of 10, I think I'll give it um, a 5. A 5? A 5. It's not to my liking. Not it's about middle of the road, isn't it? Yeah, I, look, I, I think I might even agree with you tonight. Yeah. Five, yeah. Oh, wow. You'd drink it. If someone brought it for you, you'd drink oh, it. Of course you would. Wouldn't you? You would. Yeah. No, you wouldn't no, drink I too many of them, being six percenters, but no. you would drink. Yeah. yeah. But anyway. I, I think the best way to drink it is. Why is that? Why? Don't the, you look, the smell of it's good, though. Yeah, anyway. We're giving it a five each, guys. Now. Some very... Exciting news in there. Exciting. We've got another competition, haven't we? Yeah! <laughs> Bring it on. Now, remember, guys, for Facebook viewers, yep. actually, I might put it out to YouTube viewers this time too. Yeah. But the you, what, what's got to happen is we're going to put this on Facebook and YouTube. You have to share, share and like to be in the running for the prize we're about to show you, aren't you, babe? Yep. What do you reckon? So YouTube viewers, you can find us. I know you can't share it on YouTube, but the YouTube viewers, you guys can find us on Kimmy Russ Adventures on Facebook mm -hmm. or Kimmy Russ Whitehouse, isn't it? Yep. So if you go on to Facebook and you share it and you come up on there as actually sharing our video, you will go into the running. Yep. Now this. This competition is only for people in Australia, and we'll post it to anywhere in Australia, won't That's we? It. But I'll show, eh? Yep. You take that one. Right, we've got a couple of little shot glasses here with a couple of little rabbits because it's Easter, isn't it? Yep. So I'll just show you. This is a gold leaf one. Well, not gold leaf. It's engraved, Kimmy Russ Adventures, at YouTube.com. I don't that know one's gold. whether or not that's real gold. but No, it's not real gold. And that's the silver one. Now, if you're living close by and you win these shot glasses, we want to have a shot with you. Yeah. Don't we, babe? We'll have a shot. Yeah. We want to have a shot with you if this, you're close by. This is our shot glass. Yeah. And if you're not close by and we've got to post them off, I want you guys to have a shot, film it, yeah. And send it to us. Yeah. And we'll put it on the next bar talk, yeah. won't we? But you'll get a little little rabbit and two shot glasses each. Kimmy Russ Adventures at YouTube.com. Rare as hen's teeth, these. There's only two out yet. There's only two out at the moment. The More two. on the way. But anyway, a couple of shot glasses up for grabs. Remember, like and share on Facebook to go in the running. Now, if you're watching it on YouTube, just find us on Facebook. And share it. If your name come, comes up in the sharing, you'll go into the draw, won't you, babe? Yep. Well, I think that's about all for tonight in the boat. That's it. Have we, have we covered it all? We've overwhelmed them. We've overwhelmed everyone. Overwhelmed ourselves, haven't we? Yep. I'm having another drink of that. Have another drink. Mm. But anyway, we'll leave that with you. And we hope you guys enjoyed this segment. Mm -hmm. What do you I'm reckon? sure they did. Yes. <laughs> now, the next bar talk won't be out for... 
knows? After Four, Easter. six weeks. It'll be after Easter. I know you're going to be late getting your little kinder surprise rabbit, but it doesn't matter. We'll send it anyway, won't we, babe? We will. Because you'll enjoy it. We were actually going to... No, nah, I won't say it. I'll leave that for another day. <laughs> anyway, guys, we're going to head off now and... Um, finish our five. Finish our five. Then we're going on to the tens. Have I told you? To his tens. To his cider. <laughs> on to the tens, isn't it, babe? Come on board, toys. Anyway, guys, we'll catch you later. Catch you next episode, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.